Uh, okay, what's going on, Applause Boot Camp? Uh, this is Mike Sneed coming to you live and direct. I want to thank everybody for uh, joining in uh, with us tonight, the people who's going to join in. Um, uh, we got a class coming up, the last class of this uh, year of 2021 is going to be on the 19th of uh, November, November the 19th. Uh, we're going to have our last hands-on live event. Uh, but we constantly have the online classes. You can you can constantly buy the online classes. That's anytime you can buy them. And in the online, you get everything we do here in the hands-on. You just can't come here to the hands-on. So with the online class, not only you get the applies a boot camp, you get the dryer vent cleaning, you get the uh, blender course, you get the garage door course, you get the ice cream parlor business, you get the kettle corn business, you get my real estate business. Uh, so you get all of that. Um, you get all of that, and um, and that comes with the online course. And uh, like I say, the hands-on live event. If you buy the hands-on, you get to come here to the hands-on live event um, here at our Echo Training Center down here in Selma, North Carolina. And the classroom, I finished uh, finished all of the mechanicals and all the painting and all that. All of that's done. Uh, I got some decor that's coming to put on the walls and stuff. So I'm just waiting for that to get here uh, and put the decor up and um, and we'll be done. So all that stuff, the decor and all that be done by the time the uh, November 19th class come here. Uh, next week, um, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna actually uh, be able to finish up the ice cream parlor uh, course. Um, I'll be able to finish that up. That's one of the things that uh, I've been, uh, I, I've been, it's, it's several things I needed to, actually uh, clean up and finish uh, and I've been making that uh, one of my uh, priorities and I was telling the young man um, that they come here and help me out from um, sometime during the week I was telling him uh, the universe is uh, <laughs> the universe balance stuff out because what happened I had my next door neighbor uh, they wanted me to, uh, to do some work to their swimming pool they got a new swimming pool and uh, I gave them the number to my uh, to the electrician that used to work with me, uh, uh, Mr. Paul. Uh, Mr. Paul does the work, done great work for him and stuff. But they had some stuff they just wanted me to do. <laughs> and uh, and they told me, we love Paul, but you, our neighbor, we love for you to do it. And I, I, I want you to do it. So I, uh, I no matter how much I try to tell them, I, I don't do electrical work anymore. They, they insisted that I do it. And they wanted me to do something um, at their house with their pool. So I had told them I would do it, and I was going to move them in between some stuff. And they're having a big uh, celebration at their house this weekend, a, a Halloween party, and, and her husband, a 50th birth, birthday party. So if they watch it, happy birthday, Jermaine. Uh, so I had kind of been pushing it off because I, I uh, just just stuff I needed to do uh, here at the school and all the other stuff I had going on. Uh, so I've been procrastinating with that. I've been pushing off the ice cream parlor stuff. Uh, because I got, I got to go back and re-edit some videos. So I've been procrastinating with that. And and, um, and what's happened, because I've been procrastinating with that, uh, my actual truck, I've been, uh, as you all know, i got the channel truck. I've been getting it, uh, uh, getting it repaired and getting it resto modded. And we're down to the very little, last little bit. It runs everything, but um, um, uh, we're in the process of just, uh, he got to put miles on it. To uh, make sure everything is fine and to uh, and get the the electronic fuel uh, fuel pump uh, electronic uh, fuel ejector time to, to tune itself it'll, it'll auto tune itself but he got to put the hours on it he want to make sure once he give it to me it's done so he he got to put a certain amount of miles on it uh, about a hundred miles so he he's doing that and he's just he, uh, he he he's doing it in between stuff and I want him to do it do it so uh, uh, I figured I said okay it's the universe saying you procrastinating, so I'm going to make this procrastinate on you. So I told the young guy, I said, this week we're wiping out everything we've been procrastinating on and get it, get it, uh, get it, uh, get even and squared with the universe so I can get my truck back. Uh, so uh, uh, right now, uh, next week, I'll be totally done with uh, all the stuff that I had that needed to be completed. And we'll get started onto the kettle corn. And, um, and then from there, uh, after the kettle corn, Next year, I'll be going into uh, doing the real estate because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing uh, I'm doing real estate, and uh, that kind of leads us into what we're talking about today. Um, 
uh, I, I talked to uh, uh, I talked to a, cer uh, a certain number of people today. Like I say, my conversation comes from uh, what I'm actually talking about. Uh, so today, I actually talked to several people. I didn't realize how many um, um, uh, appliance repair guys uh, didn't uh, didn't own their houses and and, and didn't know and, and thought it was impossible for them to pay cash for for a house and uh, and much money as we make. If, if you if you had uh, this past pandemic in 2020, uh, the cash that we made in 2020, uh, you could have easily we should have easily had enough money for a down payment um, to get going into a house and not pay cash for a house um, um, for a starter home. But I was actually surprised how many people reached out to uh, about uh, how, you, uh, how how I pay cash for houses and stuff. And also, uh, um, I, I've been noticing uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people on YouTube, especially the YouTube creators. Uh, they're now talking about going back downtown and and uh, buying lofts and, and penthouses, but they're not buying them; they rent them. Um, and um, uh, and so I guess that's the the, ten, the the trend now to get back downtown and get you a penthouse or get you a loft. And um, uh, that's what I want to talk about today. Um, it is 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 uh, something that I I I I'm doing currently right now. Uh, matter of fact, I don't have to get off of this uh, live event uh, a little earlier because of uh, I got to meet with my investment group. Uh, we got so many people who's trying to buy those, uh, those buildings that we have down there. Uh, that we got some serious offers that we have to actually uh, at nine o'clock we got to do a meeting and actually talk about it. Uh, um, actually entertain some of the offers, but uh, that's what I do. I, I go out and I, I I pay cash for this, these real estate, and how I'm able to do that, I'm able to do it through uh, the, my, using my five banking account method. My five banking account method, uh, you know, you got 25% going to owners pay, 15% taxes, 10% uh, profit, and then uh, and then you got the 50% staying operating. Then you got your home account. So at the end of the year, um, any money uh, that I got accumulated into those uh, accounts, that's, uh, that's, uh, after, I, after I satisfy Uncle Sam, um, the money that you have in those accounts, you have to take that money. If you take that money over to the next year, you have to pay taxes on it. Uh, so what I do, I just make sure I have enough emergency fund cash. That's usually three to six months of cash uh, on hand. I use that to take over to the next year for emergency. But the rest of it, I'm going to dump it into uh, uh, LLC, um, a real estate LLC. Uh, so I dump it into there, and then for there, I just go, uh, I just go buy a piece of property, and um, it's, it's an investment in, into your, uh, into your uh, 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 retirement, and that's how you do it. And you have to, be, you have to be, you 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 have to be intentional with your money. Uh, all this money that people are making, um, especially if you if you uh, like like right now. Um, I'm actually, I, I show you all the actual penthouse um, loft that I'm actually building right now. Um, let me share my screen. All right. All right here, go right here. Uh, I guess uh, you all can see it. Oh, here you go. This I'll make it bigger. All right. So here you go. This is my penthouse, and um, and this right here is going to be the downstairs. Uh, this is just going to be uh, a actual uh, a business that you can uh, rent out. So it's just going to be a, what we call a yellow box, where it's just going to be told we're going to put new plumbing um, fixtures. We're not going to redo the plumbing. Do plumbing fixtures in the back. Uh, new HVAC. Um, new lights, uh, fireproof it, and um, repaint it. And I'm just going to rent this out. And you see right here, this is going to be the, uh, just going to have one bathroom here. This is going to be right here, what we call a mechanical room. And um, I'm just going to rent this out to somebody. Uh, right here is going to be the front where you come in. This is where it be, where you go to go upstairs to the penthouse. So you'll open that door, go up. And then when you come up here, once you come into the penthouse, this will be uh, one bedroom right here. This is the master bedroom. It's going to have a bathroom. 
uh, walk-in closet. Lead from there. This is going to be the kitchen. From the kitchen, you see uh, uh, there'll be a nice uh, uh, kitchen here. Uh, from here, this is the washer and dryer. Uh, this is the actual uh, uh, hot water heater, and we also gonna put the air handler in there too. Uh, this is the actual uh, kitchen where you eat. This is the living room, and right here. This is where, um, I'm, uh, since I got to take this wall back here, this wall we got to take out. So right here, um, we're going to put a steel beam. So if that, uh, that will be strong enough then for me to actually come out and make this a deck where I can actually uh, walk out from here and you know, have a rooftop deck right there. Uh, I'm going to look into that. I ain't putting it on, <laughs> on here yet. I saw the, uh, the, uh, the historic planning uh, people, because I got to take my plans and stuff to the historic planning committee on the fourth and I got I, um, I got to present this and they got to give me the okay because I'm in a historic district and so uh, from and then from here this would be another bedroom office you know right here slash office um, we have a little closet there too and so uh, right here this is the things that we have to do uh, if you look right here these windows right here are arched um, I'm, that, that, those windows are really expensive to keep them arched. So I'm not going to have them arched anymore. We're just going to have a window that stops about right here, as you see. It's going to well, stop right here at the arch. The windows will stop here. It's just going to be the square ones. And then right here, we're going to use a uh, 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 composite to fill this in, uh, like, uh, like a vinyl thing to fill it in to keep the arch shape, to keep that shape in the front. So that's why we've got to keep that arch shape. You're not going to change anything there. On the back side, um, right here, uh, I got to take that wall out right here. So that's the wall I have to take out. And this is where I'm looking to put, like, a, uh, eventually put a rooftop deck um, right here. So right here, they're telling me um, I got to take that wall out. And we're going to go back. It's not going to be brick. It's just going to be a brick veneer. Kind of like the little rocks and stuff you put on there. And, and, and like stucco and here the same thing we're going to put uh square windows we're not going to keep this round stuff just put the square windows for that whole wall got to come down and right here same thing um uh here where i got this door at right here uh they don't want that vinyl there uh they want me to go back with a brick so here as you can see they got the brick uh so i got to remove the vinyl siding and uh come back up here with, with the brick and they have uh, they have a little courtyard and stuff. But this is what real businessmen and real entrepreneurs do. <laughs> uh, this this is what I'm leading into right now. Uh, stop sharing it. So that's that's what I do. And and I'm, when I see a lot of people who are who are who, who come out and they they talk to you all and they tell you all that they are all this successful entrepreneurs and they're gonna sell you courses. And gonna teach you uh, how to be successful like they are, and I'm looking, and it just don't add up to me because what happened? I look and I know that uh, the entrepreneurs that I run with in the real world, uh, not not no uh, not YouTube world, YouTube world. I, I see that. I see the flash, uh, a lot of renting, not building anything, not owning anything. Only thing they own is just the YouTube channel. <laughs> and this, that's, this is nothing. It, this you, uh, somebody saying they own a YouTube channel is just like somebody saying uh, they own a web page. You know, it, 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 it's nothing you can do. It's nothing major to do to actually own a web page. Just like some people uh, would tell me, uh, uh, it used to be, I used to get a lot of stuff where people say, I, I own an LLC. Um, especially when we first started doing appliance boot camp. People would come here and they'll say, I already got an LLC. Uh, what is it? Now, they have some crazy name. Do I need to get a new, new another LLC because I already got one? They don't have nothing to do with appliance repair. It's some holding company or something they don't put together, and they ain't making no money. I said, what do you do with the LLC? No, I got it. It's a holding company, and I'm going to use this to uh, start my appliance repair. But they don't have nothing to do with appliance repair. Yeah, but I need to have this holding company, and they want to uh, – they want to tell me all about the holding company, tell me about the LLC, but they never made a penny with it. And, um, and, uh, and, and, and that's the same thing I see when people say, 
where they uh they owned they owned a YouTube channel. They own uh they own uh, uh they they own courses. It ain't nothing to be courses and write books. It ain't, uh, all all YouTube all YouTube channels and course uh, YouTube channels courses writing books. It's just a it's just a way you can lie and, and, and cap on people <laughs> and not not get uh not get uh not get a, and, and don't have to be held accountable. Uh, but for us as African Americans, like I got to talk to African Americans. African Americans, we buy into that because we this is what happens um, because we never get around real entrepreneurs. Real people who are building. I got a video that I'm showing um, where uh, I'm actually out uh, going to the construction sites and stuff, meeting some people. I didn't put them on camera. I let you show. I show you when I'm out there meeting them, uh, me going out there working and stuff, and let you see what what real businessmen and real builders and leaders do. We come out here and we build. We build community. Uh, we're not on YouTube uh, uh, and, and, and just constantly. Getting the youth uh, on, on YouTube talking about what we do. We are real and and, and do it. Um, the uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, um, Marvin that came up. That was one of the things when he came up. I was like, uh, I gotta go to a meeting. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, you come on with me to the meeting. And we go there, and uh, we, we had the mayor of the town there. You had the the, the, the Unless something drastic happens, the future mayor there, he had town leaders there. And he saw us all talking and interacting. And when we got back, that was one of the first things he told me. He said, nobody had no suits or nothing. No. <laughs> one guy, uh, one guy, like he had been working in the yard. And, he, and he, I, I said, I told you, I said, I've never seen nobody wear no suit. Uh, unless unless it, it, it calls for when they're doing a formal meeting and stuff. But us entrepreneur business owners, we never wear no suit. Now the town officials, they might um, when they when they got to do something to represent the town. But if if, if it's nothing representing the town, if, if if after hours and we we're doing something um, like we're 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 doing something for the community, everybody nobody's dressed in those suits and stuff like that. He, he, that's the first thing he told me, and um, and he, he saw how everything that I'm doing, uh, I do it. Same thing. He that next day uh, he asked me what I was doing. Hey, I told you on, on Tuesday I, I go out and I do uh, I do one or two compressors. He said you gonna do one tomorrow? Yeah, that's what I do. So let me go. So he went with me, had a great time. We uh, we talked. He got to see me change out two compressors. Uh, he, uh, he talked to customers. He had a great time. And 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 and, and, and that's that's what it and, and that's what this art this real entrepreneurs do. You all now who have taken the plans boot camp. You all are real entrepreneurs. You all know once your business get going and you're doing your business correctly, it's hard for you to just sit there and and not have to uh, not have to have a staff. You all who are running your own businesses and running, you know it, it's gonna get to a point where you're gonna need somebody to answer the phone if, if you if you if you're growing that business. You're gonna need somebody to actually uh, another technician to jump in that truck if it's going correctly. So if you see these people having Supposedly building businesses, and they never, you never see them talking about staff. You never see them, uh, and, and you all who build real businesses and you got kids. The main thing we always talk about, we want our kids to get in. We want our kids to take this thing. We want our kids to do it. We want everybody, we want our family and friends to get in because we, 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 we're seeing firsthand what this thing can do and the potential that our businesses have. You, you never see those guys who are um, on YouTube and stuff. They are never uh, show, telling you anything about them hiring their family. They don't even hire their kids. <laughs> they, that, that's the thing they get me. They don't even hire their kids to come work for them. Uh, I don't know no entrepreneur that don't want their kids to take over their business. That's their legacy, and that's that's one that they, especially as entrepreneurs, when we uh when you get when you get married and have kids, you want you you build this thing up. You want somebody else to take it. You don't want them to just die with you. But that's one of the benefits of why you should get married. So you have somebody that, that, that step in and take this, uh, take over this kingdom that you built. Um, and 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 I never see them getting anything. Uh, uh, you know, if you get YouTube uh, accolades, you know, YouTube because everybody, everybody in the same circle runs for everybody. Uh, you you uh, on YouTube, you might have one day everybody think this person is the greatest person ever to live. And you have people that say best business owner they know, 
<laughs> this will kill me of, uh, of us. I, I listen to this stuff. Uh, uh, I listen to people. They'll say, no, no, this guy is a great business owner. I, but I don't know anything about business, but he, he's a great business owner. Now, if you're a great business, you, you're saying, I don't, you personally don't know anything about business, but you're going to tell something, you're going to give a, a, a critique to somebody that's a business owner when you don't know anything about business. How do you know he's a, this, he or her is a great business owner if you don't know anything about business? You need to have somebody who's a business owner to actually do that critique. Um, and I never see anything comes off a of YouTube from there. Um, in their community and stuff. Um, I, I just posted yesterday uh, one of the one of the, this, this right here. Let me find. Uh, this right here uh, is something that I, I, I really like. Uh, next door, the neighborhood fan favorite for my uh, for my uh, appliance repair business. Uh, man, for 2021, I, I, I became a fan favorite. And that right there, I, I, I'm very proud of that because God knows I, I put some work into that Sneed Appliance. Because like I told you all, my thing was uh, prior to getting to uh, the appliance boot camp, I was getting out of appliance repair. Um, I was getting out because I was just totally mad and, and I was tired of getting beat up of, uh, about, uh, about, the, uh, uh, about entrepreneurship and stuff. And I was just going to really focus on real estate and, uh, and, and, and just do whatever, just I was just tired of uh, entrepreneurship and trying to teach people entrepreneurship. Um, so with my business, I didn't care. I just let it. <laughs> I, I was trying to give it away. I, I was. Uh, I was trying to. I, I just let it. I, I was just letting it flounder out there. I didn't care about it. I just got money on it. I just sent the sent work orders out to subs. Didn't care about it because I was getting out of. It. I, I, I was hoping that it would die. But it, the root system in, in in my business was was so great it couldn't die. It could not die, and it, it just stayed there, stayed there. And then remember, I told you all last year this time. I said I'm I'm going to rededicate myself back to my business and, and get it back up. And I'm going to become. Uh, I said I'm going to put back down to one or two men. And I'm going to go out there because you all had inspired me to get back in the truck and go out there and have fun with it. And this last year, I went out there and I really put the effort back into building it up. And next year, I'm going to do a lot more into it. And and to get that fan, I get that neighborhood favorite award. Man, I felt good. It was validation. And and to get the other uh, awards and stuff that uh, I have received uh, this this year from from me dedicating myself. And the other reason I've done it too, because of you all. Um, if I, I want, if, if I'm going to be out there uh, teaching you all courses and stuff like that, I got to make sure that I'm running my businesses the correct way and everything is going great. So I had to go back out there and clean all that up. And that's why I keep telling you all this applies to repair business. Man, it's a forgiving business. If you if you can come back in, in a year's time and I can I can flip the switch and, and turn it back up, become one of the favorites and 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 and, 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 and get back out there and become one of the leaders. Um uh I don't know what other business you can do that in. And um and like I say, uh that that means the world to me to get that. Not only that, uh, uh, tomorrow uh, I I, make, I get some films. I might even go live tomorrow. Tomorrow um, I'll be at my university, my uh, my alma mater, my university, North Carolina A and I want to thank them. Um, I'll be out there tomorrow. They're gonna have the uh, Center of Entrepreneurship and Innovation. I'll be there for the for the meet and greet and the the mingle and the luncheon. I was happy to get invited to that. Uh, and, and a lot of those guys were the same guys that I was on the board with and stuff. And, and some of my mentors are there. And, and I know those guys. And, and, and for them, my colleagues, to, to think that it's okay for me to come there and, and hang out with them. I don't see that from uh, the other uh, so-called uh, uh, gurus in business and entrepreneurship. And that's what I'm coming to you all to today. I want to say right now that this appliance boot camp uh, for if you want to start a business is one of the top two if not the top one for creating businesses uh, for, for everybody all the other stuff they 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 they, they years and years behind and i don't think they will ever catch up because i got 20 years of running physical businesses that have to get validated every day i cannot lie and say a refrigerator fix <laughs> 
you can't lie. You you have to have you have to have receipts in this business. If I go to your house and uh, I fix your refrigerator, it, it ain't no lie about it. It's not cold. You gotta go back and fix it. If I go out there and fix your washing machine, cannot lie. A washing machine is not broken. It's not fixed. So you have to you have to do results. And uh, and also you got you out there all the time interacting your business. Your business is out there interacting with people all the time. If, uh, if I was putting out a bad product, you would see it. And you saw it in my business. If you go back and look two or three years ago, you would see it because I didn't care about uh, uh, Sweet Applied. But when, and if, when I said I was going to turn it back, I, I'm, I'm getting it back to where it used to be. We used to be, we used to be, man, we, we, were, we, we, were, we were the best. And I'm going back out there to make it the best. But um, if, if I was putting out a bad product in my ice cream, if I was putting out a bad product in my courses, all that stuff will, uh, will get uh, will be shown, and uh, and and you all would tell it. Um, uh, the other people who put out courses and gonna teach you business and stuff, that their their stuff doesn't get it doesn't get it doesn't get it doesn't get tested. The stuff never get tested. They can put you. So I told you they they resell you the courses. They put you something out there, and the first thing they say, well, it, it don't it, it don't work right. So I'm gonna go back and sell you something old that I used to do back in the day. No, uh, if I, I'm an entrepreneur, right? If I'm an entrepreneur, uh, I have I, I I have to make sure everything works right. Uh, I create the situation. I don't um I don't get out there. If somebody want to get into the live, uh, that's the uh that's the, the chat to get into the live. That's the other thing too. Uh, I don't I don't I don't. I, I I I don't uh, screen calls. Anybody can call in and, and say whatever they want to say. <laughs> and I, I totally live. Uh, it, it, I, you can reach me at my office uh, hours. You, I have people call me all day long. You can walk up here. <laughs> people come up here all the time. You saw with Marvin. You know, people. He's just one person. But I get people up here every week, every other day. Somebody's coming up here. And if I was putting out something that wasn't right. Uh, Somebody would say it. Somebody would say it. And um, that's why I wanted to come here today and tell you all, uh, uh, Plies Boot Camp is the, uh, I feel, is the best that, uh, that you can get out there. And if you're somebody who want to start a business, um, you want to know entrepreneurship, a real business. I ain't talking about just studying at business and, and, and when you start uh, doing motivational stuff. I'm talking about real businesses that will actually uh, put food on your table, um, allow you to pay cash, or houses. I'm, I'm paying. You know who? Know who paying for the uh, for me to uh, to do that penthouse right there? LG compressors. <laughs> LG compressors. I'm taking the all these LG compressors that's selling and stuff. I'm taking that money and cash flow and building the penthouse. I, um, and, and, and 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 doing it. And, and at the same time, it's not only is those LG compressors paying for me to build a penthouse with cash flow. It's paying cash for my daughter to go to college. It paid cash for my, uh, my other daughter to go to uh, go to grad school. It, it's doing it, and uh, like I say, uh, I want to teach you all so you all can do the same thing. This uh, this this is not something that uh, I know uh, 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 nothing that you all can't do. I can teach you how to uh, repair appliances. I can teach you um, how uh, how to how, how to start a business. Um, I, I, I can teach you how to, if you want to get into real estate, I can show you how to get in, get into real estate. Um, and, and, and the thing too, I, I was talking to some of the guy, uh, appliance repairmen that own businesses. They said they can pay cash for a house. And I was talking to one guy, he said he'd done over a hundred, um, LG compressors, uh, last year in 2020. And if you charge an 850 a pop, that's $85,000. He said he'd done one a week or uh, one or two a week. All you gotta do is be intentional. The money that you get from that LG compressor, as soon as you get it, you pull it out and and and, and throw it into your uh, into your uh, LL, make a LLC for your housing. Just um, I, I, you, I I ain't gonna tell you mine because y'all might go look, but I say uh, Mike Real Estate Investment LLC. And every time I change the compressor, just take that money and throw it in there, and, and say for, I'm gonna do one compressor per, per week. Uh, for uh, 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 or do two compressions per, per week. You do two compressions per week. Uh, that's 52 weeks. That's 100. That's 85,000 dollars that you you have. And you take that money 
and you go out and you come that, that, that property I have right there um uh that I, I'm I'm turning into a penthouse I ain't paid uh I didn't pay for 17 file for that I showed the check uh from two years ago my ice cream parlor business and my um uh Plaz boot camp the one that we in I didn't pay for 31,000 for it <laughs> So for both buildings combined, I'm up for 31000 Now, did it, how did it look when I got it? It looked terrible. Matter of fact, two years ago, everybody told me uh, I had threw my money away. I didn't know what I was doing. The people who uh, who came in to Applause Boot Camp before we came here, after I purchased the building, and we used to walk in here and look, ask them how it looked. It was like a bomb that went off. The ceiling was falling in. It was cold. It, 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 it just looked a mess. And you all saw uh me go through and actually uh take this building and actually turn it into something turn it into something i turned it into something matter of fact let me spin it around and let y'all kind of see what we see what we got but yeah i, I took it and I, I turned it into something you know that, that that's where we're at now and as an entrepreneur and a business owner that's the way you're supposed to be able to do with any business. You're supposed to have power and dominion over any business. Your job is, as, as a business owner is to come in and, and make that business work. You got to figure it out. How can I take, a, if I'm going to teach you how to do business, how can I teach you how to do business on a business I know nothing about? I don't know anything about your business. I don't work in your business or anything. Um, how am I going to be able to come? And tell you uh, and instruct you to get your business up and going and running. <laughs> I got thousands of people calling me about thousands of different businesses, and I'm going to get your business up and running. If I can't take a business that I'm personally involved in and personally invested in, I can't make that run. <laughs> but I'm going to make your business run. Come on, y'all. We got to be smarter than that. We got to be smarter than that. There's very few people who can actually uh, run, who can actually build businesses. Very few people can do it. Only person who's going to teach you how to run a business is an active business owner. That's the only person that's going to teach you how to do it. Nobody else can teach you how to run a business. Now I can teach you how to flip some stuff and how to sell some stuff. Uh, 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 show you how to uh, flip some stuff and and, and do uh, yard sales stuff. There ain't no business. There ain't nothing you can put your kids through college on. There ain't nothing you're going to be able to put your job on. That, that's not no business. But very few people can take you. And uh, and speak into your life, and and have it where that you can actually go out here and actually support your family off of a business if you do what they they tell you to do. Very few people can do that, and the only way you're gonna do that is from somebody who's done it before. And then once they teach you how to do it, and you get that discipleship, you they disciple you, and they they and you go out. You can tell anybody how to do it. Look, uh, look at uh, all the people from Appliance Boot Camp who have went out and, and, and trained and got other people into businesses doing appliance repair because they they, they just followed the same steps. And the only way I'm, I'm able to do only way I'm able to do business is because of Joel taught me about business, because of Abdul, because of Ron, because of uh, Mr. Steve. All those guys are pouring to me about business, and they teach me. And I'm just giving you the same information that they gave me. And from there, uh, it, it's easy. It's easy then to do it. But if they don't know what they're doing, if they uh, if they have uh, if those people have not set up under people like that and, and learn entrepreneurship and had somebody to actually teach them, and they they have not there and actually done it for themselves, um, if they if, if 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 they don't have if they don't if if your business uh, if they did not sell that business that they were in, if they did not sell it, and uh, and 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 if they did not sell it, and they they still ain't running it today, they couldn't do it. That, like I said, I tried to kill my business off. I couldn't kill it off. I couldn't kill it off. And it, it, if you got a business, but they did not sell it to get out of it, um, and they, it, it didn't work. It just didn't work. It, it, it's starting to be like the Jay Z deal, um, like what happened with Jay Z. We always hear, "Oh, Jay Z going to buy this uh business," and and he 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 got this uh stuff, and then two years later, everything getting sold off. Oh, he sold it. He flipped it. No, it was bleeding, and he was trying to get back and recoup some losses before he go all the way under. They don't. That's that's just somebody who can't run a business. No, I don't care how much money you get, you can't run a business. 
if, if you if you can run a business, uh, if, excuse me, if you can't run a business, I don't care how much money you got, that business gonna eat every penny up. And so what's happening right now, a lot of people are using YouTube money to actually uh, uh, float their uh, their bad business ventures. So what happened, YouTube money is what making you think that they can run a business. It's not. Just the fact that uh, they're getting money from YouTube is not their business. I'm going to read a couple of stuff we got going on um, here in the, in the chat. And that's me. Uh, probably my last time talking about the business stuff because uh, – uh, I, I, I just got, I'm just so disappointed in, in seeing what's coming out here with these entrepreneurs. And I went out there this weekend, this week, and I saw, uh, I saw other races building, building communities, building roads, building bridges, uh, doing all this stuff. And I didn't see us out there doing any of that. And, um, I, I, I was disappointed. I really felt some type of way. That uh, we we allow people to come in, pull the resources out of our community, and don't build anything. If you got millions of dollars, if you're making millions of dollars, uh, you get a hundred thousand dollars a month out of YouTube, and uh, and you don't you don't go build anything. You don't you don't you don't go build. You don't have no you don't have no studio. You've been doing YouTube forever, and you don't even have a studio that you can go shoot in. You're going y'all still shooting at your houses and stuff like that. You don't go build no studios. You uh you don't you don't you don't have anything to show. All you're doing is just pulling money out. You you you're, you're worse than the than the Arabs that come in and set up the corner store, pull all the resources out the community, then take all of it somewhere else. You're gonna pull all the resources out, not go buy any of that stuff. You know we're getting gentrified out. Not going out there buying anything, not going out there developing anything. And you're gonna take the money and and, and, and go throw it out and give it to uh other people. Um, uh, to, to be able to stay in something that they built. Ain't no way in the hell I, I'm going to, if I, where I'm at right now, I'm not going to go pay nobody no rent on nothing. I, I'm not. I'm not. If I, if I don't own it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to live there at, uh, at my, uh, at the situation I'm in right now. If I'm making all this money, why well, I'm going to go, uh, take my money and give it to them. And I'm not going to get no equity out of it. Um, I'm gonna take my money and go buy me something. If uh, if, if I can't get down, I, I can't go. I can't go down there and buy no downtown Raleigh uh, penthouse or no law. But I can come down to Selma and create me one just as great as one downtown Raleigh and stuff. And I can create the buzz to make people want to leave Raleigh to come down here. We got I got people leaving Raleigh trying to get down here to Selma to build their uh, build their uh, penthouses and stuff down here. And they know now. So, damn, we got. You got five thousand square feet upstairs, <laughs> huge ceilings, and uh, and uh, I can put, I, I can come down here. I got five thousand down, five thousand up. Um, yeah, they come here trying to, they, they man, <laughs> and uh, and it's just crazy, just crazy. So I'm gonna read a little bit of this, and I'm gonna have to get out of here in a little bit. Like I say, I I gotta meet and, and talk to my investment group because uh, we got some people. We really want to buy one of our buildings and we, we might we gotta make a vote to see if we're gonna sell it or not. What's up, uh Shimano Five Long? What's going on? Grandmaster Mike, an ABC fan. Hey uh Quentin Hodge, what's going on? Uh, what's up? What's up, DCNF? Donnie Madden, what's up, Mike and ABC fan? What's going good? Uh, what's good, BK from the Rockies? Uh 89 Dr. Funk. What's up, Pete? Hope all is well with everyone. Okay. Uh, Ru, Zoo, and Zoo, okay. Uh, ABC Family, what's up? Okay. Uh, Ron DIY, checking in, ABC Family, what's good? Okay. Uh, y -E -O -E. <laughs> here we go. Uh, hey, Mike, uh, we need to have a uh, early homecoming, a yearly homecoming event. Yeah, we are. Um, we didn't do one this year. But next year, we definitely got to do something for everybody to get everybody back in. Everybody is saying it. Everybody just want to meet everybody. I, uh, just not so much meet, but everybody want a fellowship. Um, I didn't want to be such such a standoff and, and have a, and, and I wanted to include the whole industry. But I think what we'll do, we'll do something and invite the whole, uh, invite the whole industry in um, with us so everybody can come. On my app, what's up, Mike? ABC fan, Mike. I needed that talk. Got some stuff at a warranty company straight out. Thanks again. That's no problem. That's no problem. 
And a lot of times that's um um talking to my apps. Hey, what's up, Marvin? I uh, get to see you, man. Um uh talking with my apps, what happens, uh a lot of times when people call, it gets to a point ain't so much about fixing, it's about life. We have real life talks about life. All right, Mr. Mechanical, what's going on? Mr. O, Mike, how do you use Nate Store to advertise? I don't really understand the platform. People keep telling me they found me because of Nate Store, so I think it might be worthwhile. Uh, yeah, Nate Store, your uh, the community that you live in, uh, or the uh, a community that you service, uh, they have to recommend you. The community does, and the community constantly recommends you, and uh, you can you can uh, register your business on it too um, in that community. But people just constantly recommend you and, and give you reviews and stuff. And uh, I don't I don't know how this happened. To be honest with you, <laughs> I don't know how, how it happened. It, it just showed up in the mail and, and with a letter and all that stuff and stuff to put on the doors. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, I, it, it, it surprised me too. It surprised me too. All right, eighty nine Dr. Funk. I just called a customer tonight to set up an appointment. Got to go back uh, tomorrow morning. Fridge is warm and the wife not happy. LG fridge is tripping hard on. Yeah, see that's the thing. Um, uh, that that's the thing right there. You can't, you can't. Our our profession, you cannot, you cannot fluff it. You cannot fluff it. If people can, if people know right then and there it works. Now, if I if I came out here, if I was teaching you all something, and I told you it take you six months to a year to do it, nobody, hardly anybody would do it because nobody would put the time into doing it. Hell, people pay twenty thousand dollars to go to college, don't go to class. You know they ain't gonna sit down and do your class. So if I put it out there five, six months, you're gonna take you to do this. You don't finish it, then I can blame it on you. But if I'm telling you I, I can in, in less than a weekend, I can teach you how to do it, then you can measure it. <laughs> that's uh damn, that's a college tuition off those LG machines. I need to get into the system soon. Seven ten uh LG refrigerators, I come across I compress. Yeah, seven out ten. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, uh, like I say, I, I paid my daughter. Uh, I'm paying my daughter's way through college now. I show you all. Uh, I've I, I done a. Uh, I've done a, a like a little series where I what you call. Um, uh, I, I, I showed somebody if they had a daughter or a child getting ready to go to college, and uh, and then save up any college tuition. Um, how you could start doing those compressor repairs. I've done one or two for a week, and by the time my daughter got ready to go to college. I had about 18, I had the whole year, 18, I had over 18,000 saved up just, just off the LG compressors and um, the what you call, uh, to, to pay her college tuition. I got a whole year of her college tuition up. And that's the great thing too, man. If you if, if you haven't done that before, if you never uh, been, a, if you're a man and you, you, and you and your family, if you have never just paid all the bills and been the man before, man, Get to a point where you can do that. That's the best feeling in the world, where you pay all the bills and you 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 you're the man. Um, and that's where I am right now with my daughter's tuition. I'm constantly asking, when the tuition do for next semester? When it do? Because I, I got it, and I, I, it makes me feel good to, to go up there and just just uh, as soon as the bill comes, just write a check. And um and 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 applies right there make it possible uh, for me to do that. Same thing. Um, I hope my uh architect and them ain't listening out here but uh 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 apply repair allow me to what you call to be able to to do that building you know just think like i say uh i had to go the other day i had to go to i had to go talk to a lawyer because i own my business my buildings in llc i can't represent myself in front of the historic board um uh i have to have a, a, a lawyer represent my llc my business so I had to go talk to a lawyer to show him what we we're trying to do, so he can go in front of the historic board and present and, and represent. Me. So uh, I'm talking to him, and he, uh, I tell him, he said, "Oh man, this ain't gonna be nothing. It take me less than an hour to go do it." I said, "Okay, uh, how much is that gonna be?" Oh, two hundred dollars. So he charged me two hundred dollars an hour to do it, and uh, and and he was like, uh, "If you want to, uh, just uh, you can have the money by the time I show up. You pay me before I, you need to pay before I go." And uh, I was like, that ain't no problem. I said, uh, uh, in the same time, I needed to transfer some property from one LLC to another. One. I said, can you can you change um, property? From, uh, I need to uh, change property from one LLC to another. Yeah, that ain't no problem. Um, uh, I can do that. I said, uh, how much is it? Oh, that'd be another two hundred dollars. <laughs> I said, okay, fine. Go ahead and do both. 
you want to uh, you want to make a payment now? Or you want to wait and, and get paid? That's what I'm gonna go ahead and pay it all now. And the reason I could do that, I can afford to pay him two hundred dollars an hour, is because I make two hundred dollars an hour and more changing uh, compressors and, and and doing the fly repair and all the other stuff. So now it's no it's no problem for me to be able to go out there and 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 and, and become a developer and, and and build my community. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't affect me because I have a skill set just like a lawyer skill set pay him two hundred dollars an hour. I have a skill set and a price repair that pay me two hundred dollars an hour. So now we even we even board. You know, uh, he 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 work an hour and get two hundred dollars. I work an hour and get two hundred dollars. So we both even. It's, it's not hurting each other. So I'm able then to go out here and do these things. And that's the thing too. How uh, I, I I was telling people. With appliance repair, the way I'm teaching you, people, some people say, well, why not you go out here and you flip, uh, people say, uh, start flipping appliances. Uh, you flipping appliances, you can be selling to a lower class, uh, uh, I shouldn't say class, a lower economic, people in, uh, in lower economic situation. And, um, and most of the time, uh, you're going to be in lower economic situation. Uh, if, uh, if, if you, if you, if you, unless you're coming out, uh, Boot camp, uh, where you uh, you don't have a great job, you what's we call you coming in from a lower economic place. Um, you're now still trying to pull money from a place that don't have any money. And like I tell you, there's only so many times you can fleece the sheep. You can't keep cutting the sheep and <laughs> thinking they're going to be okay. So you're trying to pull money from uh, people who don't have any money, and, um, and you don't know how to you don't know where the money is. You don't know where the customers are. You think everybody's going to be like your aunt, your aunt uh, Lulu, who ain't got no money, who all she can afford is $200 for a washing machine. And that's what's going to stick in your mind. I can only. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, man, something, uh, the cable and, and the internet went down, so uh apologize for that. Okay, all right, sorry about that. The cable, something, they have a, we had a uh, thunderstorm, I, I guess the, the cable went out, uh, 